Thanksgiving. Hope everybody had a great Thanksgiving. What do we do with all leftover turkey? Man, we've had turkey sandwiches with uh, stuffing. We've had uh, hot, hot uh, turkey sandwiches over toast, you know, gravy. Uh, what else? You know, just pieces with a salad. So, but I always got to do a, t a Tetrazzini. The final hurrah. And I promised Rachel her birthday was just a few days ago. So here's what we got here. Come on in. Take a look. Uh, browned up a little bit of smoked bacon. I have my turkey stock. It's a nice turkey stock back here. Okay, so we're gonna get onions, bell peppers, it's the green part of the leeks. I had some leeks in the refrigerator. Someone was asking me the other day, I, uh, I forgot what the recipe was. He said that'd be great with some leeks in it. I said, yeah, if I had some, and then I I commented back, yeah, if I had some, and then I remembered I had a leak in the refrigerator. So uh, really, I love I love cooking with them. God bless you, Axel. Sit. He, he prefers the dark meat. All right, buddy. Uh, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna cook this down a little bit, and uh, what I do is uh, I learned this trick from Jamie Oliver. Got an electric uh, tea kettle. They're indispensable. They, they, they heat the water a lot quicker than you're gonna heat it on the on the burner. So I'm gonna boil up our pasta, our spaghetti. Uh, let's see. We got the checker number twelve. What else we got? We got some Barilla, number five. What's that song, Mambo? What is that? <laughs> Mambo number five, yeah. <laughs> Mambo number five? All right. Mm -hmm. I was thinking that when I say these numbers. <laughs> a little bit of, what is it? How's it go? A little bit of Monica mm -hmm. in my life. Right. A little bit of Keisha in my All right. Tell you, Lakeisha knows all the words, all the <laughs> lyrics. I know the beat. I don't know any of the lyrics. That's why I could never sing. But uh, so I'm just gonna let that water come up to a good boil. It was in the kettle. Get that burner up underneath, and we'll be right back. Dag Jack's cooking with the blues. All right, come on in here. Check it out. You ever see one of those? Uh, those deals that you put on the floor and it, it, it sweeps the floor, you know, it goes around the house, right? Yeah. We don't need that. Look what we got. <laughs> I know. Huh? Yep. Watch out now. <laughs> underfoot. underfoot. Not tenderfoot, underfoot. So, uh, a little bit of flour this uh, whole week that, that Keith got me. I always say that. I really appreciate this this uh, home ground wheat or flour. No, no, that none of that garbage they put in there, like um, yeast inhibitors and anti mold, and I think that's what people are allergic to. It's not the gluten intolerance so much. I mean, some of it is, I'd imagine, but. Okay, so now we're gonna add a little bit of our turkey stock. I'm making plenty of gravy. I'm not sure we're gonna use all of this. I don't see the whisk. See if it's in here. Yep, showing sure up. See that? Just work out if there's any lumps. Work it out. With, you know, 
put about half your liquid in there. Let it come back up to a simmer. Add a little bit more. Then I'm going to add the green part of the leeks. They tender, they cook, they'll cook a lot quicker. And then, what I did is I covered this skillet here, bring it up, back up to a boil. Don't waste a single strand of that good checkle. Trust me. got to make a lot because we're going to give Lucy a, a little batch. This is with some of the Lucy's uh, to-go containers with a really nice snap top lid. You said she got them at Target, right? Mm-hmm. And uh, so we'll give them each one of those. And uh, so you want to cook this pasta like al dente. Add a little bit more of this barilla. Not my optimal pasta, but it'll do it a pinch. So with your pasta, I don't put any salt. I don't put, because you know, I want, I want the gravy. I want this pasta to soak up the gravy. Okay. It's, it's important not to cover it back up and let it come up to a boil. I want to add my turkey in to soften up that turkey. Also to flavor our uh, gravy. And I have some backup stock. We'll see when it comes up to the boil. You always can never determine the thickness until it all comes back up to the boil, to the simmer. I shouldn't say boil. And uh, we'll be right back. We'll be right back. Just let this all percolate a little bit. And we're going to clean up a little bit. Right, Lakeisha? You got that right. All right. <laughs> right on. Mm -hmm. We'll be right back. All right, hey, so we're down the restaurant. We, we shut it down as far as indoor dining a little bit for a while. And uh, my guys down there had a big block of Velveeta. I said, Phew. my mom, this is it. This was it. This is what we, we, we used to make our grilled cheeses with. And so this is going to, we're going we're gonna to adjust the seasoning because this is really strong. So. So, and then we're gonna bake it in the oven. So this is coming out of the sheet pan. See how we do that? Mm -hmm. Don't strain your pasta. Because uh, you know, if you wanna cool it quick, put it outside when it's cold outside. Baby, it's cold outside. Mm. We should be playing a little Christmas music. I know, I was just thinking that. Right? Yeah. All right, so watch out, Axel. I scold you, but I don't want to, I scold you, but I don't want to scald you. taste test here. You know, it'll take this whole piece. 
Yeah. Because we want it cheesy. I'm going to let that cheese melt. Oh, I wanted to show you something. This is what I got stuffing left. A little bit of mashed potato. That goes right in the gravy. Mm. Yep. I'll give it a little body also. Thicken it just a little bit. That's perfect consistency right there. Yep. I'm gonna put some of this sauce Take a little bit of this uh, stock because I don't want to cook down too much. So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna add our pasta back in just to kind of wet the pasta. Finish cooking it a little bit. Waste not want not. Okay. That's it. We're just going to let this, you know, kind of simmer on low a little bit. Let that pasta finish cooking and absorb that extra stock we put in there. We'll be right back. Yes, sir. All right, so uh, what's the heavy one? Tell you what. So we'll get the girls first. Make sure they got plenty. And Wes and Reese over there. And Justin. Sauce over the top. Look at this crazy idea that I had. Leftover stuffing on the top. Sausage uh, cornbread stuffing. Mm -hmm. Some of Keisha's favorite. Mm hmm. I love stuffing. Some of Axel's favorite too. Mm -hmm. What the heck? We we'll just put use it all up, right? Okay.
I'm gonna put a little bit of breadcrumb. Not much, a little bit. Give us a nice crust on top. A little Parmigiani. All right, ours is going in. Uh, again, I forgot to preheat the oven, but that's okay. We'll start off slow, right about 300, three and a quarter. It's out there, buddy, buddy. And then, uh, these here for Rachel and Lucy, I'll tell them to transfer that over to a, another, con you know, a baking container. I don't think you bake these. If they want, they could bake it in the oven. But, uh, so that's it. You know, turkey, we made soup. Like I said, we had a couple of different meals, leftovers. And, uh, sit. Sit. Let's see, you think you can catch it, Lakeisha? Mm, yeah, of course. Hey! hey. <laughs> Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. <laughs> okay, get out now. All right, Dad, guys, come with the blues. We'll give that about, I'm going to bake it at three and a quarter, nice and slow, low and slow, uh, about 15, 20 minutes. But no, I'd say probably 30 minutes. We'll be back. Peace. Brought a little, uh, the turkey tetrazzini. Is that one of your favorites? Yeah. The holiday time? Absolutely. Really? Do we get it like every year? Yeah. Huh? That's For, my favorite after Thanksgiving. I got a little secret uh, ingredient I put in there. What is it? Velveeta cheese. It's not a secret then. Huh? <laughs> I was oh no, we Velveeta. always use. I didn't know there was Velveeta in it. Well, not usually. Usually it's white American. Oh god, I can't. But can, can you can you pull out one? Okay, Dad. Careful that bottom doesn't rip off. Can yeah. Open that up too. No, no, no. So I told you, pick pick which one you like, the bigger of the two, or the smaller of the two. I'll let you. Well, I'm going to Lucy, so I'll be. Going to Lucy's? I'll share. Now you can you can uh, transfer it into a casserole dish and bake it in the oven. Okay. Or I think you could probably microwave the whole That's thing. That's what I'm thinking. Really? That's what I'm thinking. All right, baby. This okay. is a belated birthday. I told you I'd have it for your birthday, but a few days late. So delicious. Thank you. All right, baby. Love you. Love you, too. Gook. <laughs> All right, Lakeish. Let's check it out. Come here. Come on in here. Oh, yeah. Woo. I turn it down to 265 and uh, the sausage on top, the stuffing. Ooh -wee. Oh, yeah. Plenty hot. Axel in the background doing a cleanup. That's it. Get on it. <laughs> All right, let's check it out. All righty, let's give it a taste here. A little different with the uh, cornbread stuffing on top that mom used to make. Had to put my own little twist in it. Mmm. I'll tell you what. They usually put American cheese in it, but that Velveeta just takes it to the next level. Mmm. My mother never put red bell peppers in there either. Sometimes she put mushrooms in it. Mmm. Uh, so, Axel, he got, he getting so popular, they even got an embroidered <laughs> blanket for him. See that, Axel? You're going to look so good with that. Sit. Sit now. Hey, sit. Bluebird Crossing Designs. Mm -hmm. Embroidery Shop. Lori and John Hartage. Giddings, Texas. I can't thank you enough. You dream it, we'll design it. Now, let's see. The telephone number, 512 207 
1-800-800-0803, bluebirdcrossing.com. Lori with an I, L-O-R-I, and John Hartage, owners. So kind of them to send this along. Actually, you know, the temperature is starting to, you know, we're pretty good. Just got a little warm rain out there tonight, but uh, drop drop the uh, the girls off their uh, their package. Mm. Try not to eat too much of this. Mm. But check us out on uh, uh, if you could if you like our videos, if you could share them on your social media, we'd appreciate it. The what? Subscribe. Oh, subscribe. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. Subscribe if you like it, if you want to stay with it, and you'll get mm -hmm. updates. You want to become a member of uh, Patreon, Cooking with the Blues. It's P-A-T-R-E-O-N forward slash dot com. No. <laughs> Patreon dot com. Pa Patreon, so, yeah. P-A-T-R-E-O-N dot com forward slash Cooking with the Blues. We'll be doing some live Zoom uh, pre-release on videos. We get them up two, three weeks ahead before we post them up on YouTube. Um, you pledge anywhere from a dollar a month, whatever you feel comfortable with, uh, on up. Um, and uh, we got different memorabilia and things. And uh, for for the blackened seasoning and T-shirts, uh, Sam Meyer CD. It's uh, DaddyJacks.com, New London. No, DaddyJacksNewLondon.com. I'm sorry, I can't, I can't eat and and think and talk at the same time, right, Axel? <laughs> hey, we love you all. I look forward to happy holidays. You know, for Christmas, uh, stay safe and healthy. We love you all. We need you next year. Bye bye.